Are we mad to be using mad appliances? Sleep apnea is the new big thing in orthodontics and many other subjects. We have a growing problem and that's attracting specialists from many different fields, all looking for a new growing avenue of research, finance and places to work. What seems to be happening is that due to the changes in facial shape due to craniofacial dystrophy, the tongue is falling into the airway. There are two mechanisms which we can cope with this. One is of course posturing your head forwards, moving the point where genioglossus is inserted just behind the front of the mandible, just here, behind what we call the mandibular synthesis. That holds the tongue forward out of the airway. And a forward head posture is now almost normal in modern society. And the other one, of course, is to move the tongue and the jaw independently. So what you see many people doing is holding their tongue forward between the teeth, posturing the jaw in a strange position, it all helps get your airway clear because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing in your life, having an open, uncompromised airway, a comfortable airway. This is all very well and good when you're awake, but of course, when you go to sleep, you can't maintain these postures because you're asleep. And especially if you sleep on your back, the tendency is your mandible is going to drop back, that's going to take your tongue backwards and the tongue's more likely to drop into your airway and occlude, causing sleep apnea. Now, one of the methods within dentistry that's being used to combat sleep apnea is, of course, using MAD appliances, which stands for Mandibular Advancement Appliance device, sorry. And these mandibular advancement devices are a little like functional appliances, which you'll also see written up on our web. They hold the mandible forwards against the maxilla. Now, that can be a great advantage if you normally bite together in this position. By holding the mandible forwards in this position, it just pulls the whole tongue out of your airway. And there is some success. Not everyone gets on with these type of appliances. However, they can be very successful for some individuals in the short term. However, my concern is not the short term. My concern is the long term. One thing we've noticed is sleep apnea and these problems are getting worse in modern society. They're also getting worse over age. So if you have sleep apnea in your 40s, it's likely that you'll have worse sleep apnea when you're in your 50s and 60s. It stands to reason. Faces fall down. Everything falls down. It's not going up. I wish it were sometimes. Now, when we think of the mandible in isolation, mad appliances make sense. But the mandible is not in isolation. The mandible and the maxilla are all part of your head. And it's a single unit, and it works as a unit, and it has an interplay with itself. And the problem, in the first place, is the face is dropping down. And as the face drops down due to craniofacial dystrophy, this is bringing the tongue and the mandible, where it's attached to, down, forcing it into the airway. Now, holding the mandible forwards is all very well and good, but what you don't want to do is worsen the underlying condition and pull the maxilla back. Well, according to Newton, each force has an opposite and equal reactionary force. Now, to hold the mandible forwards, you must hold it with a force that's forcing the maxilla backwards. And you won't see your maxilla moving 
because it happens very slowly over a long period of time. But all the research now coming out shows that over a long period of time, mad appliances push the maxilla backwards. So if the problem is this, you hold the mandible forwards, you're going to cause this. Because during the daytime, the individual will posture their mandible back again, or with their head forward, admittedly, to open the airway. But you're worsening the underlying problem while you treat symptoms. And that is not good medicine. And for that reason, I don't recommend mad appliances. I recommend a slightly different solution. But if you want more information on what I've said, or what we do, have a look at the following links.